Welcome all across the galaxy. Today I'm going to show you how to download mods for Star Wars Empire at World Gold Pack. Now I must stress that this is only for the Steam version of the game, mainly because it is the most easiest way to download mods for the Empire at War video game and also most of the mods these days specifically use the, work, the Steam Workshop as it's very easy for them to update the game and give regular updates to fix minor patches. Unfortunately for those who have a disc of the game you can still use ModDB however the support for those versions of the game and of the mods are very lacking these days and everyone has mostly moved into the Steam version of the game. You, there are many sales for the game, especially on May the 4th um, and during the Christmas period and during the holiday periods like the summer uh, steam sale, the autumn sale which is about to come very soon. So without ado we should get started and I'll be very precise and very clear. So we've got the base game downloaded and the expansion pack downloaded which is just Star Wars Emperor at War Gold Pack should have this screen up. You want to click workshop which is right here and it will load into this page. Let's say we want to download Star Wars Awakening of the Rebellion. Awakening of the, Awakening of the. and then there is quite a few. There's old versions of the game and there's of course different translations of the games. The one we're looking for is Awakening of the Rebellion 2.8 Ground Commencing Ground Assault, which is done by that one bullet. So we click on the icon and that will bring us up to the workshop page and it will show us a video and screenshots of the game. We want to scroll down and press this button. This will say subscribe to the mod. Click that once and it should start downloading in this bar down here. And of course, if you click that, it will bring up the downloads. Once that's finished downloading, head back to library, press play, forces of corruption, and that will bring you into the, the liner of the game. As you can see, it is loading us into the base game of Empire at War Forces of Corruption. This is fine. All we have to do is go into options, mods, and click on the Steam mod, which is Awakening of the Rebellion Commencing Ground Assault and that will load the game. It will take us out of the um, the game and reload the game with the mod, as we'll just see in a second. Normally it takes quite a moment for it to boot up for the first time. That's That happens, especially if you're going into the base game and then into the mod. And it will show you the intro titles and it will load into the mod as you can see, and there we go. We're into the game, and you can cannily play the game as you see fit. However, doing that every time to start up a mod can get a bit tedious, and it is an easy fix to just load the mod straight away. And to do that, it takes a few extra steps, but once it's done, it's done forever. So what we want to do is head to, we want to head to add a game, at a non-Steam game, and that will bring up this box. You're not going to find what you want to find in there, so head into Browse, and you want to head into this PC to find where the Steam client is downloaded. It can vary from person to person to computer to computer where you stay, where you save the Steam files in, but for most people, it is in their first box here, which can be Windows C. Program files, comma, X, and it can be 64, 86, or 32. I'm going to click on that. Scroll down until you find Steam. Once we're in Steam, head down into Steam Apps, Common, and Star Wars Empire at War. You then want to click on Corruption, as that is the expansion of the game, and click on Star Wars G and then press open down here. That will add it to this list. Press add selected programs and it should be added to your Steam library list. Now, normally it will be an uncategorized and it can be a bit of a problem to find. So just type in this search bar up here, Star Wars 
all one word, and you should be able to find Star Wars G there. So it's probably best to rename it. So go into properties, rename it as Star Wars Empire at War. Ignore the spelling mistakes. Mod. Or whatever the mod is called. And then just press close. And it will be there. And you can just type in Star Wars. And there it is down there. However, that will just load us into the Valina version of Corruption. So what we want to do is head back to the base game, Empire at War, Gold Pack, head into Workshop, type in Awakening, find the mod you've downloaded, which is this one right here, it keeps moving. Scroll down until you find the Steam mod equals and a bunch of numbers. What you want to do is copy that, head back into Library, find your new shortcut, right click into properties and it will bring up this window. You want to click set launch options and then paste the steam mod equals these numbers. Press OK, close and then press play. And as you can see this loads us straight into the mod once we get past this loading screen. As you can see the first noticeable change is of course the intros to the game and it will load us straight into the mod just like that, which I find to be the most easiest way to play the mod. Because once you've made that change once, it will load up straight away quicker than it would going into the base game and then loading up the mod, which I find this way to do it a lot more easier. And you can do that to all the mods. You can add as many shortcuts as you want, as long as you have that Steam mod equals and a different number each workshop creator, each mod modder, normally do have that those keywords in there, and uh, that's how you quickly load up mod. I hope that uh, has been helpful for you. And until next time, may the Emperor's blessings bestow upon you.